Hi! <laughs> so, since there is still some sunlight outside, I just spent a couple hours playing games of Dota because my friend was gonna be on, but I was home all day yesterday and I just didn't want to be home the entire day. Like, I wanted to go out and enjoy a little bit of the sunshine, even though it's not over 70 and just go out and maybe eat something. So I was gonna go to a Korean restaurant, a tofu house, just eat by myself. And uh, I'll bring my book. I won't forget this time so I can read while eating. Doesn't that sound enjoyable? I hope so. Um, I kind of hope to be out for at least a couple hours, but got little dressed up. The stupid top on the inside is always falling down. But this is what I'm wearing. These are Valentino heels, just sandals, but um, they seem nice. I mean, I kind of like them. I like them. <laughs> I can't say I kind of, because if I only kind of like them, then I shouldn't be keeping them. But I think they're, the thing I like about sandals is that they're kind of subtle on your foot, and that makes it very easy to pair with jeans usually and they don't go too high up on your ankle well these kind of do get in the way of the jeans i don't like folding my jeans up because i think it looks worse and uh, it has that ankle wrap that is kind of getting in the way so that's why i folded them up but yeah time to go out <sighs> i do wish i could take riley with me but all of these places are dine in they don't have even if they had patios um I just wouldn't feel too great about it, so I will leave her home. Hello friends! I just finished eating at a Korean restaurant. Um, it was a tofu house kind of place where basically it's soup with tofu and I got um, onions, kimchi, and sausage in there and I made it so it was not spicy. But the thing is, they a lot of Korean restaurants, they give you like little appetizer dishes or something. So some of them's like potato, um, some sort of vegetable, uh, bean sprouts. They gave me a side of kimchi also. There was broccoli and some cucumbers. Yeah, I think it was cucumbers. <laughs> but um, the kimchi was actually so delicious. So in the past, Ah, oh, sometimes when I think of New Jersey, I just miss it, but um, my parents used to go to H Mart in New Jersey, which is a Korean supermarket, and they would buy kimchi from there, and sometimes, I think the quality varies, but sometimes the kimchi would be the type where it was like very mildly spicy and then taste really fresh. So those are the most delicious kinds, and they had a really good kimchi here, so I can see myself coming back for sure. And yeah, I kind of just sat there, took my time. I brought my book to read, so I was really, really taking my time and just, ah, uh, for some reason, every time I do something um, out and I do it by myself, it feels empowering. And it's weird too, because all I'm doing is going out to eat by myself, right? It shouldn't feel like it's anything <clears throat> particular or amazing but when I see other people doing stuff alone like this other woman came in after me and was eating by herself I just felt proud of her right <laughs> I feel like there's um, still a small amount of people that are willing to do stuff like that so when I see other people doing it as well it makes me happy for them I spoke to my mom briefly this morning I hadn't spoken to her for maybe like a week or something and I did tell her about the egg donor situation. Of course, she's not thrilled. Definitely not thrilled. I think she just, <clears throat> she just has, uh, she's very ignorant about it. So no matter what I say to her, she still thinks I'm harming my body. Why, why would this procedure be so, I wouldn't say common, it's not common, but you know, a lot of people do it. So if it's harmful to your body, then why is it, you know, so readily available to people? Now that I'm done eating, I am going to head over to Bubble Tea. 
Yes, I am bad. I chose an Asian restaurant so I could be nearby bubble tea to swing by after. But you know what? I just feel like it. And I wanted to go out and do something. After bubble tea though, I'm not really sure if I'm just gonna go straight home. Uh, I can't really think of anything else there is to do out here, unfortunately, when I am by myself. There are no good movies out this week. Uh, Tomb Raider is like a 7 right now, which doesn't mean anything to me. The movie itself, or maybe the game story, never really appealed to me, so I don't see any special need to pay money to see that movie. So this week is a little boring movie-wise, but when I get home, I will definitely watch something. Okay. It seems that it is cooling down. Um, what time is it? What time is it? Five twenty. Damn. Yeah, actually, I think I came out at four, or I left close to four. So, yeah, might as well go home, right? There's no reason to fuck around if there's nothing I can think of doing. Uh, maybe just the act of going out is good enough at times. Um, but yeah, I mean, this was enjoyable. I got some reading done. Something that tends to be a little hard at home because um, if I haven't watched a movie yet, that's always my first choice. There might be times where I feel like editing a vlog instead, so I do that instead of reading or um, mess around on the computer, whatever it could be. Progressing along in this in the book um the thing about all of these books is usually in the very beginning you get a bit of a backstory before poirot gets introduced into the story so uh <laughs> i'm always really eager for him to come into the fold so finally he's about to get pulled in to solve a case and i'm excited to read what happens i have been changing what drink that i get to winter melon milk tea um, something weird that I started noticing, I don't even know how to describe the sensation, but with my mango green tea, they have mango jelly and the tapioca pearls. Sorry, honking. Um, two toppings, and I usually get full serving, so there's a lot, like half the cup is all that shit. And after I drink it, sometimes I just feel weird. <laughs> weird in a way that could be a little bit distracting and slightly unpleasant but it's like it, i can't remember what the feeling is until after i drink it so for now this one tastes different but i still really like it Ooh, cold. <clears throat> hello i just got home from work and it was actually the very first time I tried out my heat gear. So right now my controller is kind of like dangling on my bike because I haven't figured out just yet where I think is the ideal spot. And yeah, ideally I would like to hide it, but I've been kind of lazy. Like I installed it and I didn't bother with figuring out the controller thing. So I kind of rode home with it just sitting in the middle. So it wasn't like moving around or anything, but just something I need to figure out. But that was a very interesting experience because um, you feel the wind and you feel the cold, but then in your core, ow, she's like licking her crotch and like digging her spine into my foot. Anyways, um, the core of your body is just hot. And yeah, at times when I was stopped, right before I got on the highway, I probably had it on like a little too hot. But once you're like going 70 to 80 on the highway, the too hot became just right. So I, I think it's really, really cool. Um, glove liners are definitely a must because just having warm hands to squeeze the clutch and the um, throttle and the brakes makes it so much easier. But that definitely made riding so much more enjoyable when I knew that I would be warm on the ride home. That makes a huge difference. And another awesome thing that welcomed me home is this. Can you smell it through the camera? Can you smell it through the camera? 
there are two legs in here and I'm not exactly sure if I will eat both tonight. It's tempting to eat both because it is just so delicious and tender. And I mentioned before that I tend to like to pick apart my chicken with my hands, but last time I did it, my hands were like burning. They were getting scorched because it was still really hot. So I'll probably stick with a knife and fork for today because it just came out of the oven, I'd like to say. And yeah, since I got my groceries, let's just show you what I got. I got a family size, Lucky Charms, one person family. <laughs> I've been eating them kind of slow though, don't worry, I'm not actually eating a whole carton for a week, so I think I'm doing okay. Oh shoot, I got more granola because I ran out. And granola is actually pretty important to my oatmeal. Oh yeah, I forgot they didn't give me raspberries this week. Maybe they ran out or something, but that really sucks because I like the raspberry and the granola combo. I could leave out the almonds or the nuts if I wanted to. Um, I needed more oil. I was getting low, so that will go up there. I got some corn. I actually love corn. I should definitely buy more of it. It's just that one can of this is a lot of corn that I probably need to separate into multiple meals. Otherwise, last time, this might not sound very pleasant to hear, <clears throat> but last time I ate a lot of corn with my oatmeal, it kind of made my poop not very pleasant. That was a very pleasant poop that day with all that oatmeal and corn. So. I will have to divide it into multiple meals. Some sweet onion, an avocado, and cabbage. I actually really like cabbage. So I haven't had it in a while. Um, and also, this is actually very important. This is why I pretty much wanted to order groceries as soon as possible. I ran out of floss. So being like two days without floss felt kind of gross to me. Because when you use your floss, you see all that gunk you're getting out from between your teeth. So within two days, I feel like it may have hardened onto my teeth. I really hope not. But, um, damn, I don't, right. So I'm going to just eat chicken for dinner because that's so freaking good. It's so delicious. <gasps> I forgot to buy yogurt. No. Whatever. I could just order it again in a couple days. Whatever. I'll manage. Okay, so I haven't really recorded in a few days. I um, guess I just haven't really felt like it. And uh, usually, at least in the middle of the day, I do find it a little challenging to record, especially if it's like during my lunch break where I have very limited time and I don't want to take advantage too much by having a very long lunch. So just haven't really been recording. Um, a couple updates, the egg donor parents from San Jose actually backed out already. Uh, apparently the only thing I got from the email was that there were issues and that they couldn't proceed. But she mentioned that there was a woman in Irvine that was interested in me, but they wanted me to maybe work with their doctor who basically that means that I would have to travel up to Irvine for a few appointments. Uh, I told her I could do a few appointments in Irvine, although preferably I wouldn't want to. Uh, not too much, maybe I can do a couple, but it's basically, I think it's one and a half hour drive without traffic and most of these appointments will take place on the weekday. So if I have to go during rush hour, no way. Uh, but I haven't heard anything back in a while. So basically I am kind of back at square one I failed to wake up for newbie this morning, but it was mostly because the matchup seemed easy and they did 2-0 uh, team. They based, they did 2-0 their opponents. So tomorrow's game though is looking so much better. They're playing against Team Secret, who, who is a pretty good team. Oh, that match is at like 10 in the morning. So I will be at work by then. So I won't be able to watch it. Uh, maybe if I take an early lunch. I could try to squeeze a game in, but that doesn't feel that enjoyable to watch it under those conditions. So I don't know if I will do that. But um, I've been riding quite a lot lately. I rode in yesterday, I rode in today, 
and they have been so enjoyable. I'm feeling really, really, really comfortable on the highway now where I am kind of riding like I drive, which is basically kind of crazy. Um, I can't stand slow drivers, so I just freaking zip around them. Uh, definitely still not riding during rush hour if I can help it, so I'm still going in at 10, leaving around 6.30 to 7. And um, tomorrow, I think it's gonna rain, so not gonna ride in tomorrow. But man, it's just so exhilarating. It's so much fun. And with the addition of the heat gear, it is so much better because I don't feel cold. And for someone like me not to feel cold, it feels like a true accomplishment. So heated gear, very, very good investment. Uh, I am really interested in watching American History X tonight. I've seen it before, but there's a lot of Edward Norton movies that I watched ages ago, and I want to watch them over. Um, so I have a better memory of what exactly happened in the movie, what exactly I liked about the movie, and I miss him. So I want to see him on the big screen again. Exercise later. Um, this week I did some exercises with my trainer for the abdominal region, and one of them I didn't do very well, which bugs the heck out of me because I like to excel at everything. So if there's a move where I'm just like struggling to do, I don't like that, so I, I might just like practice that this week, so if he were to ever ask me to do it again, I will smash it. Okay, so I think I've had a little bit of a realization where uh, I have been really sluggish um, in terms of having the motivation to watch new movies sometimes, just because I don't um, have that initial motivation or interest, I guess, and that's kind of like really important to me because otherwise I feel like I'm forcing myself to watch something I might not be as interested in. But on the other hand, I know that's um, kind of a conflicting mentality because there have been plenty of movies that I have really put off and then ended up really enjoying like The Guardian with Kevin Costner. But I guess just right now, I feel like in my queue, I have several movies in my watch list, but I haven't been able to find those movies to watch. Next, actually, is a movie that I have not seen. Um, it was directed by Edward Norton. It's called Keeping the Faith. It seems like it is a romantic comedy. It has Ben Stiller in it. I don't know who the woman is, but um, it's like a 6.5 on IMDb, but I don't really care because there is a chance that I might enjoy it. So I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna see. He directed it. Um, I don't know if he directed another movie or not in his lifetime. Oh, I know he did. He wrote and directed a movie, Leaves of Grass. That one was a little weird. It was about pot. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna watch Keeping the Faith. And I'm actually kind of excited about this watching movies over thing again. Normally, I'm so obsessed over watching only new stuff so I could add it to my list, but that doesn't always work out because sometimes I force myself into watching something new and then I don't end up enjoying it and then I could have watched something I've seen before and know that I would enjoy so there's always that conflict that I have but um, I'm gonna start watching some of my own recommended films over and if I don't feel as uh, strongly about it anymore now compared to before I will remove it off my list 